Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you with some new content. The draft just ended. We are excited. We are on a high. But how high are you? And I'm not talking about Red like Man. I'm talking about how excited are you about this upcoming season with the draft in the books, with some prospects coming to Buffalo. This should be a year to be excited about. So I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to get right into it with the first pick. The Bills select Easy Ed Oliver. 6'2", 290 pound freak. Freak man, freak man, get ass Ed. That boy is a nasty mother. Shut your mouth. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. Defensive tackle from Houston University. Now. Let's keep it real and let's keep it a buck. We got to thank the damn Raiders. <laughs> the Raiders choosing Cleland, Cleland, Pharrell, whatever his name is, I don't give a damn because guess what? If not for the Raiders, this whole thing is changed up. So shout out to the Raiders. Shout out to Mike Mayock. Shout out to, shout out to Gruden. Listen, the whole crew in LA, in Oakland, Yo, shout out to y'all, because if it wasn't for you, this whole game would have been changed up. Now, back to your regular televised program. So, Ed Oliver, how is he going to impact the Bills? Let me tell you how he's going to impact the Bills. Penetration, penetration, penetration. And we ain't talking about sex ed. That boy is going to be penetrating the line left, right, center. This is the tragedy. This is the travesty that happened to Mr. Ed Oliver in Houston. They used my guy at the nose guard, right on top of the center. I mean, he's good enough to do it. But coming to Buffalo, we already have the garbage eater. We already have the space eater. Now, we let my guy Ed sit pretty at the three technique. That allows him to not have to deal with double teams. Are they going to try to double team him? You're damn right. But then it's just going to leave Jerry Hughes wide open for the taking. So look for one-on-one -on -one matchups with Easy Ed Oliver in Buffalo. Boy, quarterbacks better be scared because my boy is coming. Now, it's all, all great because people are talking about his length. His arm length is not long enough for this, that, and the third. I ain't trying to hear it. If they're telling me he's like an Aaron Donald, I'll take it every day of the week. Explosion, elite penetration ability, quick lateral movement, three down linemen. Don't look for my guy to get off the field. He's staying on the field and he's gonna be impactful against the run and the pass. Ladies and gentlemen, your number one pick in the draft, Ed Oliver. The second pick, offensive tackle, big bear mauler, Cody like Ford. This. Now let's get right to the shits. Cody is a mauler. He loves to run block, but do not think that he's just a mauler. My man is an excellent pass blocker. What did we need all of last year to protect Josh Allen? Pass block ability. The fact that we got a steal of a lineman in the second round in Cody Ford, projected potentially to be a first rounder, we are in business. Powerful man. You let him get hands on you, it's over, it's done. You ain't disengaging from nothing. You are done. And let's not forget the most important thing, playing alignment. You've got the physical abilities, but you also got the smarts. You know what's coming. You can see, you can process things quickly. And that's one of the traits that comes with Cody Ford. Now, the real question is going to be, does he play outside or does he play inside? Here's the beautiful thing. He's done both. He has a high ceiling for playing on the outside, but he naturally could fit on the inside. So we have a beautiful problem to deal with. Ladies and gentlemen, our second round pick, Cody the Bear Ford. Third pick, Devin Singletary. Let me keep it quick. Let me keep it real. Let me keep it quick. 5'9, 200 pounds solid. A lot of people are telling me that he's like Shady McCoy and he's quick and he's this and he's that, but he doesn't have the long speed. Let me tell you something about the running back position. Have the long speed all you want, but if you don't have vision, you have no awareness, that long speed means nothing. You have to be able to read, react, and stick it into the ground and go. This is what Devin Singletary presents. Center of gravity is on par. 
quickness, elusiveness. You can't ask for anything better. But here's the thing. He finishes his runs. Don't think he's going to step out of bounds. Hell no. This ain't CJ Spiller. This is Devin Singletary. He finishes his runs. And here's a hot take for you. Bring it in a little closer. Let me lick my lips. My lips look a little chappy. Here we go. Let me tell you something real quick. Devin Singletary may remind a lot of people of Shady McCoy, but here's what I see. I see a lot of Frank Gore. Look at the tape. My man finishes his runs. He's patient, and he will stick his head in your chest. Devin Singletary to the Bills? No problemo. Look for Devin Singletary to get a lot of playing time at the number two back, sharing some time with Frank Gore. Having Singletary sit behind Gore and Shady, it's all good. Fourth pick, Devin Knox, tight end out of Mississippi. Here's the deal. Great hands. Not going to beat you with beautiful route runs, but the boy has four or five speed. The only problem is when you have a quarterback, it's not very good, and we've had that for a long time, so you know exactly how that feels. The ball never gets to him. When you're playing with Demarcus Lodge, AJ Brown, DK Metcalf, kinda hard to get the ball in your hands when you have those three nasty wideouts. So look for Knox to have an opportunity to really showcase his abilities with a quarterback that is not afraid to let the ball out of his hands. Listen up and listen good. The guy can block, he can run up the seams, this might be a secret weapon for Josh Allen. Now don't sleep on Jason Kroom. I ain't sleeping on that man. But when you have a quarterback that needs help, having Dawson Knox come to the fold, it's going to be a beautiful thing. Competition is going to be running rampant. Knox, Kroom, Sweeney, and Croft, woo! Get ready for a battle this summer. One of my more interesting picks, if you guys followed my draft mocks, I picked Voshan Joseph to be drafted by the Bills. I mean, I may have went a little high. He got drafted in the fifth, uh, but I, I thought he was going to get drafted in the third. But Voshan Joseph coming to the Bills. Here's what he presents. Aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. He is not afraid to put his helmet right in your mouth. Knock your block off. Here's the deal. Six feet, 227 pounds. I know, it's a little light. He ain't going to play the Mac. He ain't going to play the Sam. You put that man at the weak linebacker. Let us use his lateral quickness as our advantage. And here's the thing, he's light enough that he can cover running backs, fluid enough that he can cover tight ends, and he's fast enough to stay with them. And not only that, he has the ability to time his blitzes correctly. He's an aggressive blitzer. We need that. Get after the quarterback having Ed, Easy Ed, and having a Voshan. Having them two guys with speed, aggressive behavior on the field helps everyone. Voshan Joseph. Look for that name. I think he's going to be crucial. We may not have to have Nichols on the field all day. Jaquan Johnson, safety out of Miami. Here's the deal. Great range. Doesn't have the greatest ball skills, but he can put himself in good position. You ever heard of the tip drill? And I'm not talking about Nelly's video. Woo! Tip drill. What I'm trying to tell you is this. If you put yourself in position all the time on the field, good things happen. Not only that, he's a sound tackler and aggressive i don't know but i don't know what it is about florida boys but those guys come to play and they're always coming with a nastiness so jaquan johnson which i think was a great addition is going to be fantastic not only in special teams but he's going to be pushing to try to get on that field saran neal rafael bush look for that competition to be very interesting jaquan johnson out of miami in the seventh round we had two picks daryl johnson and Tommy Sweeney. I'm going to put those two together. Here's the deal. Daryl Johnson is going to be a long shot for him to make the team. We have depth at defensive line. However, with length, with the ability to be aggressive that he is, got good hands, the question is where will he fit? Will he get on special teams? That's where he's going to have to try to fit. Very long shot of making the team, but don't sleep on that length. 6'6", 253 pounds with length. Set the edge and, and really make things happen on the edge. That's where he's going to live. He doesn't give you much power moves. It doesn't give you a lot of finesse. It's all about setting the edge and potentially getting after the quarterback with aggressive nature. That is what Daryl Johnson brings to the squad. Now, when you think of Tommy Sweeney, now everybody thinks he's just a blocker. No, sir. My man can block. You can leave him on the edge one-on-one -on -one with any defender. I'm not saying any defender, but he can hold his own. You don't got a double team. Let Sweeney stay on the edge. Let him be able to run routes. And I watched a little bit of film of my guy. He's more athletic than we think. Don't sleep on Tommy Sweeney. This tight end class 
isn't it wasn't so bad we had some good ones and i think we came out with two we came out with two decent tight ends that's going to actually potentially stay on this roster athletic enough to play tight end and run up the field not gonna wow you with route running but he's got beautifully soft hands so he will be able to go up the ball with somebody on his back and still catch the ball so am i happy with this draft you're damn right i am here's the deal what do we grade this draft what do we grade it let me tell you something how about an A? I'm just going to go with an A. An A, a solid A, is what you're going to get. So, ladies and gentlemen, I give it an A. What do you give this draft class, this 2019 draft class? Ed Oliver leads the way, and we've got some really good picks all the way down. Let me know how you guys feel about this draft class. Is it an A? Is it a B? Did they not impress you? You guys know exactly what to do. Let me know how you feel in the comment section. Y'all know what to do. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy! And I'm gone.